first of all let's delete all unnecessary stuff then make sure you have animation nodes at dawn installed inside your blender project if not you can check the link for this add-on in the description then expand one of your views and change the editor type to animation nodes now we need to download pre-made node setup which will help us loop the output of the wiggle node I will also leave the link in the description it's absolutely free but you can donate if you feel like so let's go back to blender project and append the node set from the downloaded file now we can find the node set in the node list one more important thing before we'll get started we need to delete the additional scene that was added automatically after importing the node set otherwise the node set won't work let's switch back to the layer view create new node tree and add new metaball object to the scene let's generate multiple copies of this metaball select the object you want to instance and we need to enable copy full object let's add an integer node to control the number of instances let it be 12 and add object transforms output node now we have the node setup that generates 12 metable instances but we are able to see only one because they are all in the same location to move the balls let's test the node setup that we previously appended to the project invoke sub program and choose wiggle loop connect the output to the location input blender will generate combined vector node for us Increase the amplitude parameter so we could see the movement and check the box to enable full animation loop. Now let's test the loop animation. Switch editor type to timeline and see it works. Let's go back and reorganize nodes so there will be space for the loop sub program. Add loop body. The default name for this node is my loop. So when we will invoke sub program, we will choose this program name. Now we need to specify the input data type. We will be iterating through multiple metable instances. So object list is what we are looking for. Next, let's specify the output data type. Click new output and choose vector list. connect the index to the seed parameter so every metable will have different seed now let's add collection info node that will output objects from the specified collection in our case this collection was automatically generated by the object instancer node and don't forget to connect the loop output to the object transforms node now we have loop animation for x-axis in order to animate along the rest axis, we will simply copy the wiggle node. Before we do it, let's change the interpolation type to sinusoidal. Since there are two axes left, we will duplicate wiggle node twice and connect the output to the vector node. Also, we need to connect loop index to the seed parameter in order not to have the same seed for different wiggle nodes we will shift them by adding different values for the y it will be 1 and for z let it be 2 and now metaball loop animation is ready we can also add randomness to the metaball scale property Let's duplicate wiggle node one more time and connect loop index to the seed parameter. Now we need to add new loop output. The data type will be also a vector list. 
as we need to have a proportional scale, we will connect wiggle output to all three axes at once. And don't forget to connect the output to the object transforms node. One more small thing left. If we want to control the size of the generated metables, we can add map range node. Drag it between wiggle and combine vector node. We can also adjust the values to customize the look of the animation. Just set minimum and maximum value for scale property. The frequency parameter in a wiggle node will control the speed of the movement. You can adjust it separately for each axis. And the amplitude parameter will control the spread of the metaballs. That's it. Hope it was useful. I also added a link to the Blender file in the description.